The name of one of Houston's most eligible bachelors is off the list tonight. Houston Oiler Earl Gamble married his junior high school sweetheart in Tyler, Texas this weekend. Al Janis was in Tyler for that wedding. <laughs> There was no time for Earl to get nervous yesterday. There he was in front of Harvey Hall, greeting all his old friends from Tyler for over three hours. While inside, his sweetheart since his Tyler Junior High days, 24-year-old Renee Smith, was busy making sure the wedding album would look just right. Nearly 1,000 guests watched the couple tie the knot. The big moment came shortly after 8 p.m. And I promise to love. Honor. And support her. And support her. Keeping on it to her. Keeping on it to her. As long as we both live. As long as we both live. I declare that Earl and Renee are husband and wife. Uh, uh, Typically, Earl could have done without all the fuss last night. In fact, he spent his wedding day working on his ranch. We knocked off about 12, said it was about time to go home and start getting, you know, dressed for the wedding. At 10 o'clock, so I asked him, so why are we not? He said, just a wedding. Could have gotten married in my backyard. On the football field, Earl seldom has trouble stepping over fallen would-be tacklers, but last night, the Tyler Rose was off just a step. Well, excuse me. Seriously, our congratulations to the new couple, Renee and Earl Campbell. Al Janis, Eyewitness Sports. When we come back, Al is going to have more sports for us in just a minute. In every man's life, he finds a challenge, and he accepts it with everything he's got. Not to beat it, but just to take it for a ride. Let's we brew a beer for that man. Because one taste of gusto, and he knows there'll never be a better beer. Schlitz, go for it. If you like hamburgers, you're gonna love hamburgers. The kind you get at Whataburger. Built just the way you like them. At Whataburger, you get more than a hamburger. You get a hamburger. Bigger and better than anything you've ever tasted. So if you like hamburgers, you're going to love Whataburger. It's not just a hamburger. It's a Whataburger.